Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you are okay today. I just want to share with you about saying farewell to atheism. I think uh, for me um, it was about 25 years ago when I was an atheist um, and I had to say goodbye to atheism and I became an agnostic and then from being agnostic I went on to become a Christian but I had to say goodbye to atheism because atheism never answered any questions and it never does answer any questions the, the big questions of life why are we here what is our purpose where do we go what is what is love how are to, how is, how are we to build a society how how can we be happy um all the major big questions existential questions i felt atheism rooted in a materialistic kind of philosophy was just a complete utter no-no and I felt that anyone of any intelligence would see that um, and I think what made me say goodbye to atheism and move me on into agnosticism was when I re read the life of Wittgenstein and and reading about the Austrian intellectuals who uh, it's actually quite uh, a deep subject actually uh, it requires a lot of research uh, but if you research about Austria around about the 19, 1900 to 1920 there were a lot of suicides and there were a number of factors that were actually bringing in these suicides but some of the suicides uh, are quite a number of suicides not all the suicides because there were other um, like I said factors political social economic etc uh, that were playing on uh, other people committing suicide but there was a, a significant proportion of suicides from Austrian intellectuals who had actually taken the logical conclusion of atheism and realize that actually it leads you to nihilism and so they committed suicide and it was at that point I think for me I realized that if you're going to be logical about atheism that's where you should go that it was not it was not you could not have any intellectual honesty living life as an atheist it was it was just it was just intellectual dishonesty because you're not actually following the logical conclusion of your own position that's how I felt and so I, I felt it, it that it could not possibly be a viable option otherwise I would just commit suicide like some of the Austrian intellectuals not all the Austrian intellectuals if you do research of that time it's a very very complex time uh, there's actually a couple of large books on on the suicide of Austrian intellectuals and so you have gotta be a bit subtle and nuanced in saying all Austrian intellectuals commit suicide because they saw uh, the implications of atheism which is nihilism um, you've got to be a bit more subtle and nuanced it, there's quite a lot of other factors going on there as well but it's safe to say that some Austrian intellectuals took that position that I've just described and it was from that point that that I, I, I really said farewell to atheism 
and that's why never in a million years would I ever even contemplate becoming an atheist because it doesn't mean anything there's no there's no point to it <laughs> and I'd have to be intellectually honest and if I was intellectually honest I wouldn't want to commit suicide but that's where I would have to go if I was going to be an atheist these atheists around today are just not honest and they're not brutally logical in what in their application of atheism because if they were logical they would know they're just a speck of dust on the edge of the universe that there is no meaning to life if they put a meaning in it's only the subject to subjective opinion so what big deal it's, doesn't mean anything it, on the grand scheme of things uh, you might say well I want to enjoy my family I want to do this I want to do yeah you can do that but that's just not logically consistent to your own position so anyhow I said farewell to atheism a long long time ago and I began to be a bit bit on the fence uh, that life of Wittgenstein that I read uh, he was in the trench in the first world war and uh, he was thinking about St Augustine he had some kind of mystical experience and uh, I thought that was interesting that Wittgenstein had some kind of mystical experience but anyhow, that's why I said farewell to atheism. And any atheist who holds on to atheism and is living the life today is purely and simply not logical with their atheism. I do not want you to commit suicide and please do not commit suicide because there is hope read Acts chapter 17 Acts chapter 17 and read it and there it talks about Jesus came and he died and he rose again and he conquered death objectively true and if you believe in him you can have your sins forgiven you can have purpose you can have new life new hope new vision and there is a purpose to life and there is hope okay the logical position of Christianity it's glory, glory, and glory, and joy, and joy in Christ. And a new life, a new hope, and new vision. Alright? So, farewell to atheism, and hello to Christ. God bless you, and thank you for listening. Take care.